Salutations, Proboscis2 here, with a tutorial on how to replace sound effects on the Wii System menu with custom ones using tools that are used for Mario Kart Wii modding and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I just figured out how to do this and it really excites me because now not only do we have custom Wii themes where we can edit the images on our Wii uh, System menu, but now we have custom sound effects too. So imagine what we could do with the two of these together. So uh, first of all, you will need all of these tools. Brawlbox, NUS Downloader, Show Me Wads, and Audacity. For Brawlbox we need, we need Brawlbox so we can edit the BS RAR found in the Wii System Menu app file. Uh, we need NUS Downloader so we can download the Wii System Menu uh, and we need Show Me Wads to pack and unpack U8 archive files, which contains the BSRAR file, which contains the sound effects. And we need Audacity so we can edit our custom sound effect. This is the installer. I have all of these packed into here, and I will link this file in the description. So you can just download all that at once. But anyways, first what we want to do is go to NUS Downloader and be sure that Create Decrypted Contents is checked and we don't need these I don't think. So go to System and I prefer Wii System Menu 4.1U, here it is, because uh, it actually contains all the new features that were ever added to the System Menu and it's just easier to hack. So it's really the best system menu Nintendo ever made. So yeah, start on US download. It's finished. So now we go into titles, this long string of numbers, and here we go. Now we have all these app files, which are actually, if we open in a hex editor, U8 archives. So what we need to do with these is unpack them using Show Me Wads. So we open Show Me Wads and uh, go to Unpack U8 Archive, and we locate the one we just downloaded. So I believe, yeah, okay. Now it'll ask us where we want to save the contents, and yeah, it'll just do it in this folder right now. So yeah. Uh. I actually already extracted it and replaced the sound effect in it, so uh, I'm going to use the one that I just edited, but uh, basically that's what you want to do before you edit the sound to get the, s the files you need to do this. So I know I'm really bad at articulating, just bear with me. See, they're the same. Uh, the BSRAR is located in the output folder, sound, and here. So yeah. But like I said, I'm going to use the one I already edited, so it'll be two custom sound effects in the part where I show you my custom sounds. This one. So now we open uh, Brawlbox. It, I don't know why it won't connect to the internet. I don't even know why it needs to, but anyways, go to open and locate your uh, uh, Yes, we are. Here's mine. I think. Is this the right one? I think it is. Yeah, it is. And, uh, yeah, here we are in the BSRAR. Now, I happen to know that where this, most of the main sound effects are is the second to last one down here, the R bank, right here. Double click it, and we have all the sounds here. So that's when you enter it channel banner. That's when you leave a channel banner. This is the select noise that I already replaced with the select sound effect from Toy Story 2 on the PlayStation 1 and Windows. It was just a test sound. And this is the sound effect I'll be replacing, I think. No, sorry. I'll be replacing this when you leave a channel. So... First, you have to have a custom sound effect, and uh, it has to be in mono. 
So, for example, if I opened Audacity, let me just show you how to do this. Go to File, Import Audio, and find uh, your sound effect, or just any audio file. So, like, I have this. Uh, <coughs> let me see. Can you hear that? <coughs> yeah, you can. Okay. Tim Allen's grunt. And I'm going to trim it down, make it so that it's smaller in file size. And now what I'm going to do is, because it only works in mono, I believe, go to Tracks, Mix, Mix Stereo on the mono. And Export as Wave. Uh, sign 16-bit PCM will work. Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Now... Go back to audio uh, in Brawlbox and right click over here in sounds and click replace. Now locate the sound you just exported from Audacity. Mine is here. Play it and press OK. Now it won't do anything at first. If you click on the another one and then click back, it'll do that now. So you can close out of this, save the changes. And, uh, alright, now we have to pack the U8 file again. So, where, why did I leave this? Okay. So, you go back to Show Me Wads. Oh, I already have it open. Dang. Okay. And go to Pack U8 Archive without header. And locate to the file, or sorry, the folder where you extracted the app file. Uh, is that the one I just edited? I don't know. I don't, what is the one I just edited? Crap. Okay, it's this one. In the root of tool pack. So yeah. And then you save it as I'm gonna go up one up here, and uh, I'm just gonna save this in the root of tool pack, and I'm I should probably uh, put this in the zip file in case any of y'all want it. But you just name it zero 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 seven b dot app. Press no. You don't want to compress it with LZ seventy seven. And there you go. So, uh, by the way, I found it completely by chance uh, in 00000-whatever-7b.app. I was looking through it uh, when I was unpacking the U8 archives. So, uh, now we go to copy this, and I should mention that I've only tested this whole replacing sounds things on Dolphin. So, but I'd imagine the process would be like... Uh, pretty similar on an actual Wii, like use Wii Explorer to navigate through the NAND files and find the file we need to replace, because that's what you have to do. You go to Dolphin Emulator, Wii, and do a search for 00000007B. And here we go. Here's the file we need to replace. Paste, replace, and there we go. Now, Open Dolphin. Uh, no, wait, I don't want that. I want uh, load the system menu. Now you can hear it. Oh, it's a little quiet. But you can hear it. It's a little quiet under the. Place the sound effects in the Wii system menu with custom ones. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you all.